Good morning, everyone. This is your morning briefing for November 14th, 2020. Wanted to get this out there and let everyone know what to expect with potential protest activity today. As most of you know, the Million MAGA March will be taking place in D.C. later today around noon Eastern at Freedom Plaza. Initial information is showing this could be a massive rally, one of the largest seen in recent times. In the lead up to the rally, the Stop the Steel Caravan took off from Austin, Texas Monday with stops in Houston, Tallahassee, Atlanta, Raleigh, and Richmond before finally pulling in to D.C. early yesterday evening. Sadly, after the caravan arrived and met up with MAGA rally participants that had arrived early in preparation for today's rally, they then took to local bars and restaurants to eat and celebrate their arrival. Though no violence or property destruction, harassment, or harm was caused by the relatively small group, police and riot gear showed up, declared their patronage as an unlawful assembly, and dispersed the group, even arresting some of the patriots. Police stated they declared an unlawful assembly due to people blocking the roadways. Now, if you've been following the protests this year at all, you are probably as floored and taken aback as I am with this statement. After months and months of watching Antifa and their comrades in BLM block roads, interstates, harass patrons, burn, loot, and murder, all without intervention or arrest, the complete hypocrisy of the D.C. police's actions last night is abundantly clear. I, however, sadly feel this will be the blueprint for today. Of course, as no patriot gathering of any kind this year has been allowed to occur without some agitation by Antifa and their BLM comrades, Propaganda had already surfaced as of midday Friday with plans to counter protest and agitate rally goers. The propaganda, distributed on Twitter, of course, comes from All Out DC, a leftist militant group with ties to both Antifa and BLM. The DC based group is best known for doxing Tucker Carlson and his family and their violent attack on the 2019 Demand Free Speech Freedom Rally. The propaganda poster nicknames the counter protest as the Fuck MAGA Rally and sets a location mere blocks from Freedom Plaza to coincide with the Million MAGA March. I would go ahead and expect there to be violence. Chatter has been long coming that leftists are planning on agitating violence in order to give media B-roll to blame Trump and uses further pressure for him to concede the election. That being said, we will be going live at noon with protest coverage earlier if the situation dictates. Until then, make sure to check out our website, protesterprivilege.com, for up-to-the-minute election news that has been sourced and verified, and to follow us on various social platforms, including Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, Parler, Gab, and anyone else we can find that won't uh, censor us too bad. Till then, everyone stay safe, and we'll see you at noon.